Welcome back again to the Organic Rose. We're going to do what I call hot love in a glass. Fresno peppers, there's some serranos and jalapenos, and they've been allowed to stay on the vine and sun ripen. As they sun ripen, the sugars develop in the peppers, and it's a beautiful thing. We're going to go ahead and work with about a pound of fresh ripe serrano peppers that I just picked out of the garden and some water, brown sugar, some fresh garlic of course, and um, a little bit of kosher sea salt and that's about it. We're going to put all these, we're going to take the peppers and cut the tops off and then just drop them into this blender right here. Boom! And we're going to blend, it, blend them all up. And I cut the top off split it in half and we're going to drop these once we take the seeds out then we'll go ahead and drop it into the blender and puree it and get all the seeds out as many as you can and if you don't get them all out that's okay too because you know what it's all going to go through a strainer after anyway so let's go ahead and put these drop these into the blender And actually, we're just going to put them in. I've already washed these, so we're going to put them in whole. I'm going to go ahead and add some water. It's about a third of a cup. Some garlic cloves, a lot, a little. I say a lot. That's about six cloves, eight cloves. Some brown sugar. That's enough, I don't like it too sweet. And some kosher sea salt. This is from my buddy at Big Sur Salts. They mine some wonderful salt. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the blender on. And you can see how it's, everything's blending up nicely. Okay, I wish we had such a thing as smell-o-vision because you could smell this now. <coughs> oh man, that's hot. I didn't even taste it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into a mason jar. Old school. You want to smell? It is hot, baby. You'll light, loosely cover this. I usually just put like a plastic bag over it and set it into a cabinet where it's nice and cool and dark for three to five days so it can ferment. It's going to start to bubble and that's why you want to put a loose cover on it. You don't want to cover it tightly. You don't want to screw down a mason jar lid on it because you're going to end up with sriracha and glass all over the place because it's going to explode on you. Not a pretty thing at all. So we're just going to cover it lightly and then put it in a cabinet, let it ferment. Once it's fermented, I will go ahead and strain it into a saucepan, add some white wine vinegar to it, and then simmer it, simmer that for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, something like that. Let it, let it cook and let all the flavors continue to develop. And then we'll take it out, strain it, set it aside, let it chill, you chill. And you know what? It's gonna be ready to eat and you're gonna love it. Trust me. So I've got a nice little saucepan on the fire. I'm gonna grab some of my fermented sriracha. Boy, look at how, look at how thick that is. So let's go ahead and put it in the pan, in the pot, saucepan. There we go. Let's stir it a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of water to it because it's still a little bit too thick. And then, there we go. Let's add like that. 
and give it another stir. You just want it to come up to just a very low simmer. It's going to go bloop, bloop, bloop as it bubbles in the pot or in the saucepan, should I say. But that's getting there. Add a little touch more of this. Oh. <laughs> it is hot. Make sure when you're handing when you're handling peppers like this, huh, just like I did, I went to scratch my eye. You don't want to do that. Be careful. You can wear gloves, not a problem. Make sure they're clean. Um, but just keep your hands away from your face and any other extremities because you don't want to deal with that. Trust me on that one. I've been there many a times, and it's not a fun place to be, and it lasts for a couple days. So what I found out, I did a little bit of research on how do you remove that hot pepper oil from your fingers. If you're working with the peppers, you just pour some olive oil in your hands and rub your hands together and eventually the olive oil will neutralize the hot pepper oil. Okay, now I'm going to add that white vinegar, distilled white vinegar. And we've allowed it to, it's cooling a little bit, not too hot to blend. Let's go ahead and pour it into the blender can. Okay, here's the one you need to be really careful. You got to put the blender on low, but leave the lid to the blender cracked open a little bit like that so that you're not trapping all the gases inside of the blender can. Be super careful with this step because you know what? You've got hot peppers and hot juices in there. And if you turn the blender on, it's gonna go boosh like that, right? And you're gonna get it all over your hands, all over your walls and your ceiling, what have you. So I'm just, I've got the lid on there and I just kind of crack it open a little bit and just kind of pulse it. And that way we try to keep everything contained inside of the blender can. And there you go. Hot love in a glass. Oh yeah. You'll love it. Adjust, taste it, adjust it for salt if you need to. Um, adjust it for sugar if you need to. You really shouldn't because this is a pretty foolproof recipe. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and strain it. Get all the seeds out if there's any in there. Any of the membrane, any of the, the stem. And it's going to go right into here. So we've got some of the, some of the, um, pulp in the strainer. And all the liquids coming into the bowl. Here's the thing, making your own sriracha sauce, well, it's a great thing. I use all of our organic peppers out of our garden. You don't necessarily, if you don't have a garden, you don't need to do that. You can buy hot peppers, you can buy organic hot peppers. But I like to make it myself and store it just because I know where the peppers came from. I know what went into the product. I can serve it to my guests and be very confident that they're going to like it. And it's just so much better. It doesn't have any of the nitrates or nitrites or any of the additives that are have to be used for, for commercial purposes. And um, it doesn't have that. It's just... It's jalapenos, it's serrano peppers, it's some fresnos, it's garlic, of course, some brown sugar, uh, a little bit of water, some kosher sea salt, and it's all good stuff. We got add the vinegar to it towards the end and um, cook it for a bit, and then there it is. 
And there you have it. Beautiful. Look at the color. It's just like oh, amazing. Okay, I'm going to taste it and make sure it's good with salt and sugar and vinegar. Oh, man, that's hot. But that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, my gatos. Oh. Can you see the color of my face just change? Once it cools down a little bit, I'm going to pour it back into the mason jar, and then we're going to refrigerate it and store it in the refrigerator. And then take it out whenever you want. Put it on your dinner table, pour it in a little bowl, set it on the table for your guests, for your family. Enjoy that sriracha my way. Catch you next time on The Organic Rose.